Good morning and welcome to the text local webinar on the email to SMS gateway. My name is Tom, I work here in the uh, onboarding section of text local working with new customers to the platform. So this morning what I'm going to do is run through the basics of the email to SMS gateway with you and show you exactly how these work, hopefully answering a few common questions that crop up along the way and giving you a, a live demonstration of, to, of how this actually works. What we need to do this morning is to make sure that we've got our text local account open and also our email account that we want to be sending the text messages from. And once we've got these open, we should be ready to go. And if I can also ask uh, that you have uh, your handsets with you, we can do a live demonstration of this as we go along. Uh, and if I could ask if you could do all do me a favor by texting in webinar to 6077, as you can see on my screen there, uh, that would be fantastic. Um, if you can text into that, then what we'll do is when we come to the live demonstration later on in the platform, I'll send you all a text message from the email to SMS gateway. So, first of all, if we want to start using the email to SMS gateway, we need to log into our text local account and configure the settings correctly. So, the way that we do this is by going to our settings button on the dashboard, clicking on email to SMS, and then there's a couple of things that we need to do. So, first thing we need to do is click on the activate email to SMS button, which is just here. We then need to make sure that we add our authorised email address that we want to send from. So as you can see, I've added mine in there ahead of this morning. You can add multiple email addresses in here and you can control the sender name that's going to be used as default as well. So by clicking on the little drop down button, it might be that different users have different sender names and we can control that nice and easily on there. On the left hand side here, we've also got the ability to truncate our SMSs on our email to SMS gateway. Now, the reason this could be used is potentially what you might want to do as a user is stop people burning through credits on the platform. Um, and you might want to prevent um, any extra long messages being picked up by accident, which you can do. In the subject handling box here, we can choose what we want to do with the subject line. Um, so majority of our users of the gateway will only use the email body rather than the subject line. If you choose to add the subject line to the start of the message, at the top of the message, that would give you your subject line, followed by a space, followed by the message, in almost replicating an email exactly as to how that works. And then we've got a couple of other little buttons here, uh, which we'll, we'll cover later on during the session in regards to, to what we do with those. Now, once we've configured our settings, so we've got our authorised email address, uh, we've clicked on activate email to SMS, we've got our sender name, we just need to click save those settings. What we're now going to look at is sending messages to groups of people. So hopefully, um, I should have some people who text in uh, to the webinar. So let me just quickly look at the inbox now. Uh, here we go. Ah, excellent. We've had somebody text in, which is great. Uh, we've had a couple of you text in. Fantastic. Um, so I'm just going to move you into a contact group by just selecting there. And just need to move you through to the group there. So, if I now go into my contact group within the platform and go into webinar email to SMS, you will see at the bottom here we've got a little I button, which is whereby it will give you the email that you need to use to send a text to this group. So, all I'm going to do is just copy and paste that. And then I'm going to take that into my email platform. So what I'm going to do is click in here. I'm going to compose an email. I'm going to put in that email address that I want to send to. On this particular message, I'm not going to use a subject line. Um, so I'm just going to now quickly send it a quick test. So good morning. Oh, 
attending the text local webinar and I'm now going to click on send okay so that message has now been sent once we've sent the message we've got the ability to view the, the reporting on email to SMS so to do that I'm going to click on reports click on email to SMS and you'll see here we've got our delivery report so if I now refresh this as long as you've all got full signal I should now be uh, all delivered hopefully so you'll see it's showing the time that the message was sent out the content, content of the message and the status so delivered is obviously fairly self-explanatory for those of you who use the platform on a regular basis these delivery reports follow exactly the same nature uh, unknown may well be that your handset might be switched off or it doesn't have any signal um, it should hopefully deliver deliver shortly on that one but you can see that those messages have been delivered as long as the handset is switched on uh, and they've got full signal uh, with the email to SMS gateway you should still expect to receive that message instantly what we're going to look at next is how we customize the sender name when using the email to SMS gateway so we've seen by clicking into the settings section that uh, we can control the sender name uh, in here so we've seen we can control that in there and in there but what we can also do um, is we can change this in the body of the email so if we click on compose if we wanted to change our sender name or add a unique sender name with the email to SMS message we'd send all we would do here is simply type in sender equals and then our name so I'll call this text local Tom so if I now copy and paste the group and we'll just call that test you should now receive a message from me uh, which will have a smaller I'll just use my initials instead, but it should have a different sender name to the one that you received earlier. So we'll, we'll click on that. What we're going to look at next is how to um, put a password lock on your email to SMS gateway. So the way that we do this is if we go back into the text local account and click on our settings and then go to email to SMS you'll see at the bottom here we've got the require password in subject field so all we do here is make sure that is ticked and then we'll click on save those settings and we can set that up nice and simply again using the subject line within the message so all we need to do here is go back to our email account uh, click on compose and then to put a password on it all we would do is password equals to the subject line and that will put a, a password lock on the email to sms gateway to prevent anybody uh, maybe in, internally in the business using the, the gateway Next up, what we're going to do is a really important feature of the, of the email to SMS gateway is where to start and also where to end the message. Now, this is probably one of the most common questions or queries that crops up on the email to SMS gateway. And it's how do we prevent A, the signature being added to an email or the disclaimer being added to an email. So really simple is at the end of our message, all we need to do is make sure we put hash hash what this will do is this will close off the message it will prevent the signature or disclaimer being added on to the bottom of the email and um, so uh, that you're not going to burn through any credits because naturally if the email uh, signature gets added on and we go back here and you've truncated the messages to to four potentially you could accidentally use up four messages rather than one so we want to prevent that happening and we can do that nice and simply there by just using that little feature 
we can do exactly the same by marking the start of our message. So if we ever need to do that, really simple, um, all we would do um, is if you just want to pull certain pieces of the email that you're converting into a text, we just start that with hash, and then rather than hash hash, it's simply hash percent hash, that will start the message, and then hash hash again will finish the message. So that will uh, enable you to pull that relevant information you potentially want to convert from the email into a text. We can also schedule messages. So those of you who use the platform on a, a regular basis and use some of the additional features will know that within the text local platform, when you send from the platform directly, there's a little schedule feature which allows you to choose your date and time that you want the message to be sent. We can replicate this in email to SMS, really, really simple. Um, so we'll go back to our, our email account and we will copy and paste our group that we're going to send to. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to put in sketch, which is S-C-H-E-D, and then equals, and then we're going to put the year that the message is going to be sent, so we're in 2016. And this will need to follow this format. And um, the format here, um, if you haven't got time to note it down now, it's also available on the email to SMS gateway page on our website, should you need any, any help afterwards. So we're just going to pick the actual uh, month and year. So um, let's just quickly bring it up. So we're on the, uh, it's the 26th, next to the 10th. And it's the 19th, and the time we'd like to send it is we'll go for 10, 15, 0, 0. So if I just click on that, and that will schedule that message to go out at 10, 15. And you'll see within the platform that will also appear in your email to SMS reporting. So if we see here, all of the messages that we've sent this morning have now been delivered. You can see our, our previous test that we did with a different sender name. You've hopefully all received that, and you can see that obviously that's altered the sender name. Um, so if we did the schedule, that message would arrive to you at, at 10.15. Now, hopefully that clears up the majority of the questions, and I've shown you the majority of the features of the email to SMS gateway and what you can do with those. And if you've got any further questions, um, obviously feel free to type those in in the, in the question box on the webinar. Um, I'll come back to you afterwards and, and we can answer those questions. Um, if there's any of them, let's have a look and open the uh, panel. Ah, so there we go, Nathan, can you use trackable links when sending email to SMS? Um, unfortunately, you can't use trackable uh, links when sending email to SMS, um, I'm afraid, um, in that you'd need to be able to use yeah, be able to use a platform to do that. Um, however, you can still use links, but unfortunately, they they wouldn't be trackable in the in the same way. So hopefully, that will will answer that question for you. Is there any other questions that anybody wants to ask before we end the webinar? Uh, we, we've sort of run through this morning how to set up uh, the email to SMS settings. We've also run through how sending messages to a group. I've shown you how to customize your sender name. We've looked at how to put a password on the gateway and marking the start and the end of a message. And we've also looked at scheduling as well. So is there any other, any other questions that anybody has? Okay, excellent. Well, hopefully the webinar has been useful for you today. Um, any questions uh, that you think of afterwards, um, feel free to contact us. More than happy to sort of plug in. And if anybody wants any sort of further training on any aspects of the email to SMS gateway, more than happy to provide that on a one-to-one -one basis if necessary. So thank you very much for your time this morning and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.